During the screencast, I will show you how to create an Electron app and package that app using an Azar archive in order to distribute it with the Electron executable on OS X. So let's get started by creating a new working directory and installing some of the development time dependencies. So let's call it Electron Pack, move to that directory call npm init in order to get a proper package JSON and confirm all these default values and let's install gulp gulp azar gulp clean and electron pre-build all as development dependencies in that directory and right after that has been finished Let's fire up Atom and get started with our Electron app. These are installed in my working directory. That looks like the following right now. Let's create some empty folders and files. I will explain the files later when filling them up with some code. So that's enough on all, let's fire up Atom. Okay, so right here we have our package JSON and first of all, notice all these default settings from my system. So you have to rearrange the main script in order to point to our index.js which is located in the app subfolder. And then let's get started with writing an app, an index.js for our Electron app. So this is the main process, that's the node process which is responsible for actually creating the browser windows and navigating the user to the websites we are delivering as part of our app. So first of all, let's require all the modules we need, that's app and the browser window. Dash window and app itself is exposing some events like the ready event. So let's define a callback for that one. And as soon as our app is ready, we would like to create a new browser window and provide a dimension. That's enough for just getting a blank browser window rendered by our Electron pre-built container. So what we would like to render the contents from our index HTML. So we have to load that URL and pass the path to that one, so just the current directory. Then we have to go on the right app because we are actually running within these app subfolder and then row so index.html. Then we have to provide some HTML right here. So let's npm install gulp from save. Because we would like to have a gulp task for actually running our app. So let's quickly create our starting gulp file. and pass as argument the current directory 
to the electron executable and exactly that. And we have to cost to return it. So at this point, let's ensure that we saved all the files, everything looks fine. And let's try it by execute guard run. So we get a browser window, but there's one thing missing. Okay, here we go. So we have our basic Electron app actually running, and right now we are only missing a Galvo task, which is responsible for packaging all the files together and creating a new archive, which can be distributed besides the Electron app itself. So let's require all the other things like Czar. And clean. Go clean. First, let's write a short clean task, which is responsible for actually cleaning up our packaging folder. So let's say gulp return gulp source package read false and pipe that folder to the clean function which will be configured with the force attribute set to true in order to delete the directory package also if there's any existing content within that directory. Okay, second one is gulp copy app. This task is responsible for grabbing all the files like app index, app um, browser index, HTML and the package JSON and copying that one to all those files to a package folder. So let's say gulp source equals to files from the browser subdirectory and last but not least the package.json file and we would like to set the base directory to the current directory and we would like to pipe these files to the package folder and that's it and this copy app task have, will have a dependency to our clean task and the final task will be the package task which has the dependency to our copy app task and this task is responsible for actually creating the archive so let's uh, return gold.source everything from within the package directory. We will pipe that one to the resolve function and give it the name app.rsr and this one will be piped to our just folder. So let's give that a try. Call package. Yep. So here we get a new package folder. Within that one we have all the the bits and bytes that are required for all Electron apps. So we have the package JSON file, we have the index HTML and the main process itself. And everything will be will be archived, will be stored in an archive which is called AppRSR and we could use RSR's executable in order to show the contents of the package by providing the path to the RSR file. And it's actually also the the structure within our archive and what I've installed on my system I have downloaded the Electron executables so there is um, let's show it, let's show it. an app installed in my applications folder that's the Electron app and as you can see there's a content subfolder and a resources subfolder and this one within that resources subfolder normally the default app is stored and you could Go ahead and override or delete the default app and provide an app.rsr file which will be used from Electron from the Electron app as the main entry point. So let's finally let's copy 
the dist appraisal to application electron contents resources and that's it um, in order to make your app distributable you have of course to rename the app and you have to change a few meta few metadata properties within let me show you that applications electron app the info PL list so let's say add on okay like for example this one this high electron in our example um, you have you have of course to, to change or you can change the the icon the identifier and a lot of other stuff right here you have or ensure that you have changed those values before actually distributing the app to your customers so let's give that up a try just fire up electron and here we go there's our packaged app and all these samples will be available on github so you should definitely go ahead and check the link down below in the description from that video thanks